Hi there, and welcome to another episode of the Creative Writer Podcast by San Alexa, and that's me. Today we are going to talk about breaking rules in literature, and I've already talked about breaking rules in like writing uh, at some point, I believe, in the summer, in August maybe, or at the end of July. Anyway, you can go check that out. Um, but we are going to talk about like more about, you know, story level breaking the rules, you know? Uh, so yeah. Once again, all my information is in the episode description, so, you know, check that out. There's a link to buy my book, Run and Dan is a fantasy novel with action and romance and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and then you can also find my the link to subscribe to my mailing uh, subscribe to my newsletter, join my mailing list, whichever goes. Uh, yeah. And yeah, all my links, email, like social media and everything. It's all in the episode description, as always, so yeah, check that out if you're interested. But let's get on to the topic. So, like, breaking rules in literature. Um, I don't know how this idea came to my mind, but I believe I've written it down during a lecture. Uh, probably in my, like, basics, like, the basics of literature. Um, uh, no, it's... Wait, what is the course name? We have this course where uh, it's, like, the basics of literature research or something like that in English. It's in Finnish, so that's a rough translation just <laughs> off my mind. Uh, so yeah, basically it's like the basics of what I study, like researching literature and so on. And we've talked about representation and everything like we talked about a lot in that course. And I believe it was one of those lectures that when I like wrote like literature is breaking rules, like like or, or like breaking rules in literature. That was like what I wrote down. I don't remember my exact thoughts or the exact lecture or the topic of the lecture, but um, I have some idea of what I was thinking about back then. And I hope I can, you know, explain this to you. So breaking like, and this story level rules that we are talking about. And I mean, yeah, rules are made to be broken. As I've said before, I think, um, so, but, but before you break them, learn the rules, because that, it, you can, you know, you can break the rules more masterfully when you have first learned the rules. Um, so for example, many people say that you should write your story in three act story structure. You don't have to test many other ways and you can still, you know, write a great story. Uh, that was like just one of my thoughts though. Um, I started thinking about like how we usually tell stories in like most stories are written either in like third person perspective or like a uh, first person point of view. Uh, so it's like either she, he and so on or someone is describing from them their point of view. But I've heard that there's a few books out there that I've heard about recently that have, you know, that are written from the second person point of view. And that's something that sounds so freaky to me and most readers. But I heard that, I don't, I'm so sorry, I don't remember the book, but I heard that one of the books was actually super clever. So, you know, that's what I mean by breaking the rules. Most books aren't written this way. So yes, it's a risk if you're going to try this and you have to really, you know, do it well to, you know, uh, gain readers who are going to read it and who are going to want to read it because it's so different. Um, and this doesn't just go for the point of view, this goes for everything. So, But yeah, that's one idea. That's definitely one idea. And I think it would be super cool read. I, I haven't read those books, so it would be super cool to read one of those masterfully written second person point of view books. But then there's other ways to break, you know, the rules. Like, for example, you could be telling, like, most books are in chronological order or they may have, you know, flashbacks. But what if you found a clever way to make it so that it goes the other way around, like from present to past, or like, yeah, I don't know. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about when I mean break the rules uh, in this episode. 
So, you know, you know, if you are writer, you should be reading a lot. Oh, or an author. Um, well, even authors are writers. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, you should be reading a lot. And you probably know what's, you know, what's the usual way to do this or that. And, you know, how storytelling goes in most books, especially in your genre. Um, so, you know, if you read a lot, you know how things work usually. How about you do it differently? Try something new. I think um, there's so many books out there that are written so similarly. I don't say that they can be great. They can obviously be great. But I think it's really refreshing to see something like new and something like that hasn't been seen before necessarily. So that's just a thought. And I hope this kind of like inspires you to maybe, you know, work on, work on these ideas. Maybe you will write a book with something new. You don't have to. But, you know, I hope this episode kind of like gets your creative juices going, gets your ideas flowing and so on. So, yeah. Uh, and also, we talked about, now that I mentioned the representation lecture from my studies, we talked about, um, I think there was an example of a photo and it looked like they were like, I think it looked like there were like curtains in front of a window or something. I can't remember the photographer. If I remember, I will add the name to the episode description. So, or ask me later on and I will try to figure it out. Um, like comment on YouTube or email me or DM me on Instagram. And I will try to figure out who the photographer was. But it was a famous one and I just can't remember his name. I think it was a, a he. But yeah, anyway, that's not the point. The point is, it was actually, like, it wasn't, it was like a miniature, like, I don't think, I, I think it was, I think it was like something he had made out of, like, paper and something, or, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure how that went, but basically, you saw something that wasn't real. So, um, the photo kind of tricked the watcher. And I think that's something super interesting that we could also do in literature, you know, in writing in stories, like show the reader something or make them see something that they, you know, they think, yeah, oh, yeah, I can see that. But then it's not that, it's something else. I know I don't have like a simple way to do this. Like I don't have some great roadmap for you like do this and it'll work like this uh i don't have that kind of tips here these are just ideas you're going to have to work them on them like on a deeper level on your own but yeah i think that would be something super interesting if someone did that well so or i don't know probably it has been done at some point but yeah it was just something i like i thought i was playing with during the lecture honestly i don't remember anything after that point from the lecture because I was so focused on that little detail like that little photo so yeah <laughs> but yeah those are like some examples of like you know break reader expectations but but don't do it like in a mean way do it in a clever way like not in a way that would upset your readers but in a way that would you know make them go like wow this is art or like something like that and you know test that idea with better readers and so on to see if like you know if the message is delivered as you think so if the story doesn't work as you meant it to then obviously go and edit it but that goes for all the stories so yeah it's not just these crazy ideas and i don't know if these are so crazy but like they are new like something we don't see every day uh Unless you are into this kind of stuff and you somehow know many books that do all this, like, unusual things. And if you have any book recommendations with any of these things or anything, like, unusual, definitely, like, share them. Um, like, comment on YouTube, uh, email me, DM me on Instagram or something. I would love to hear if you have any book recommendations with something, like, unusual, like, for example, the second person point of view. And, yeah. 
And if you have any recommendations, I would love to share them with the rest of the listeners. So yeah, but you don't have to, but feel free to, because I would love to hear if you have any, any, you know, recommendations or something. Um, so yeah, I think that's all for now. I could definitely talk more about this if more ideas come to mind. And if you have anything uh, else, like unusual, you've seen a book, definitely, definitely share that with us too, because I think it would be super interesting to hear. So yeah, but I think that's all for today. Uh, remember to have fun when you are writing. Try new things, break the rules. Uh, in, you know, break the rules. Don't go the conventional way if that's not your way. So yeah. Obviously, you don't have to try any of these things if they don't sound appealing to you. But yeah, this is hopefully something that may make you, you know, inspired and perhaps even motivated to try something new. And, you know, yeah. Now, thank you so much for listening. Go write. Okay. <laughs> Go do whatever you were doing before you started listening to this episode. But remember to write. And yeah. Oh, also remember that all the information is in the episode description. So, you know, check it out for the links and everything. And yeah, thank you so much for listening once again. Uh, happy writing creatives. Goodbye.